lovelies all welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here oh my gosh okay first of all i have so many good news to tell you guys in this video like i don't even know where to begin first thing first i am filming in 4k bitch me filming in 4k guys i can't tell you how long it's taken me to get this set up right it literally took me like eight months another thing that i am so excited to share with you guys is that this video is sponsored and i think you saw in the title of the video it is sponsored by a brand that i never knew would want to work with me like honestly like I love this brand so much. I think it's such a beautiful brand and I can't believe that Fenty Beauty wants to work with me. Oh my God. I just can't believe such a big beauty brand wants to sponsor my video. Like what the hell? I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a pretty and simple look using the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. And also guys, look how cool this is. You literally click it together and click. And look at that. If you feel a little bit red and berry, you can use this side. Or if you're feeling a little bit Amazonian and sexy, you can use this side. Honestly, you can mix and match any snap shadows that you want. I personally like four and seven because I feel like those are my go-to colors. And also the formula. Oh my God. I have been playing around with these eyeshadow palettes. And guys, this one right here. This is rude. This is, this is rude. I'm also gonna show you guys how to apply the Fenty Beauty mascara as well as their brand new eye pencils as well. So yeah, let's get into the video. This is gonna be a Q&A. So guys, get your drinks ready and then let's begin. So I've been meaning to film this Q&A last year. I like halfway through January guys. Can you believe how time is flying by so fast already? Like halfway through January. Yeah, I was meant to film this Q&A video in December and I was meant to upload it whilst I was away for Hong Kong and the Philippines. But the thing is, I'm so glad I didn't film this q and I'm glad I'm filming it right now because I feel like I'm in such a different headset. Headset, is that even the right word? I feel like I'm in such a different mindset now compared to like two months ago. It's just so crazy how like going on holiday and switching off your phone and just being present can really like, change your whole entire mindset of everything like for the new year i wrote down my goals and my goals was the usual gaining loads of followers and that was it really literally that was it just gaining loads of followers but now it's different i sat myself down and i was just like am i happy literally i asked myself that i was like am i happy with these goals am i gonna be happy when i do achieve these goals like I was literally sitting myself down and being my own therapist. I realized like, no, I'm not going to be happy if I chase these numbers. So I changed my whole entire mindset. I got rid of all my logistics goals. I said no to gaining loads of followers this year because that is not my purpose anymore. My purpose now is to create meaningful content and just help you guys in different ways like whether it's mental or physical whatever it is through makeup through talk through videos like this i am just sick and tired of putting myself through stress and putting myself in a rat race i compare myself a lot to other people and yeah i've just been really miserable the past two years to be totally honest with you guys and i am just so glad that i can now film this q a with a healthy mindset well semi-healthy baby steps girl ling come on i'm gonna use the snapshot cadet 7 i think this is such a beautiful little mini eyeshadow palette i love this mustard this mustard is so unique i really want to put up my eyes so that is what i'm gonna do so just to let you guys know i already put concealer on my eyes because i got a lot of veins and redness so a little bit of concealer can really help and set it with a little bit of powder also helps prevent it from creasing i'm gonna use the shade she salute on my crease Oh, she pretty. I like this. I love how like as soon as I put it on my eyelid, there's like instant payoff. Just to let you guys know that you can get these snap shadows and mascara and the new pencils in Boots and Harvey Nichols. And they are launched today. Today. So guys, 
what are you doing? Click the link in my description box, check it out. So my first question is, are you jealous of your friends? Well, I'm gonna be so transparent and honest with you guys. Yes, I have been so jealous of so many people, not just one person. I don't know, I'm, I'm a very insecure person. That's why I'm on this journey to get rid of this insecurity, trying my best to listen to a lot of Jay Shetty and following a lot of Instagram accounts as well that motivates me me to heal myself and tell myself that I'm okay. Like, I know that sounds so cliche, but I feel like it's really important to remind yourself that it's okay to feel jealous. Say it after me. It's okay to be jealous and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out straight away you'll feel lifted and just be like yeah i'm jealous of this person i'm gonna turn that jealousy into happiness for that person and you gotta understand that everyone's success journey is so different whether it's career or finances you're in your own lane and embrace your own lane and, and don't be too hard on yourself when you do feel jealous of someone like there's been so many times where i'm so jealous of like a close friend i'm like oh my god you got everything but then when I talk to them and they complain about life, I'm like, bitch, why are you complaining about life? Or you have everything that I want. <laughs> but this just goes to show that just because someone is really happy and they have best success story and amazing finances, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are happy in themselves. And so it's really important that you support them. You might be going through something and you never know, they could be jealous of you. They could be thinking, oh my God, I wish I had this from your life so it's so normal to be jealous okay this mustard rihanna what did you put in this eyeshadow palette like there's no patchiness or anything and also guys this is 4k so you can see all the realness and i love how like this color is not oxidizing because usually mustardy yellow colors when it goes on my skin i don't know why but it oxidizes what is the best advice you can offer for someone who wants to be a vlogger and a beauty guru so that is such a big question because there's so many answers three tips on how to be a vlogger and a beauty guru is I don't know. Oh my god, I'm literally the shittest person when it comes to Q and A's. Okay, no, no, no. I do, I do have some advice, guys. Sometimes when I get a question, it throws me off and I don't know how to answer it straight away. So my first advice, the first thing that came into my head is you just got to believe in yourself and you just got to start. Use your phone, whether it's an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 11, whatever you have, it has a camera on it. Utilize it and don't be afraid to film yourself doing a makeup tutorial. You understand that being on camera can be so scary and so daunting especially talking as well it is so scary little baby step is the key to growing confidence and also it's the key of achieving your goals as well so let me just quickly wipe out this eyeshadow i'm gonna use the shade 30 on my crease the one thing I've noticed about being a vlogger and being a beauty guru is that when you make one video, don't stop. If you're scared and you feel like people are going to judge you and you feel like your family's not going to approve or you feel like your partner's not going to support you, I want you to understand this, right? When you are scared, it stops you from achieving your goals. Fear is just this made up thing stopping you from succeeding and stopping you from achieving what you you want to achieve. I, I have produced so many videos on Instagram. I think I produced like nearly like a thousand mini Instagram makeup tutorials guys. I'm not joking. I'm still practicing every day. So another advice would be don't stop practicing. Just keep going. I feel like I need to do a dedicated video on how to be a beauty guru because this is such a big question and I feel like I'm answering this so crap right now guys. I'm so sorry. What do you think is the best thing to help with coat? Oh what? Oh my god. What do you think is the best thing to help cope with stress? I am currently on a journey where I want to heal my inner self, which I know sounds really cliche. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've been so happy. Like today is probably the first day in January where I'm so happy because, you know, my camera and my lighting, you know, I got my dream set up. 
working with Fenty Beauty, like that's like so incredible. And you know, we're only halfway through January as well. Before all this happened, I was so stressed earlier on today. And I think what helps me cope with getting over the stress is remember the outcome. So like me and Nathan were setting up my lighting equipment and we were bickering and arguing with each other. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty fly pencil. I'm gonna use the black one. Oh. Guys, ASMR. I'm going to use this and put this on my waterline. <laughs> okay, back to normal now. Oh wow, this is so creamy. This is like my first time using this pencil. Did you guys see how easy that transferred? Let me just do that again, actually. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Let me just do it again on this side. So I'm just gonna go over. Did you see? Can you see, guys, how easy and like creamy the eyeliner is? It's not easy to find a creamy eyeliner. I am so happy. Oh my god. And I love how like it's not too thin and it's not too thick as well. It's like a nice medium size. Gonna use a little bit of Glam No Camo. And I'm just gonna darken like this area so like just the end of my eyelid yeah so me and Nathan were arguing I was stressed he was stressed as well and it was it's, it's mainly my fault that he's stressed to be honest guys I find that what helps me cope with stress is the end goal I mean it depends what you're stressed about I guess like I usually stress out about work mostly when you're stressed and sometimes you get lost in a moment when you're stressed and I find that you forget to take care of yourself when you're lost in a moment. So what works well for me is taking a step back, like you're allowed to take, you know, a couple minutes out of your day to relax, especially when you're jam packed busy, whether you've got school or you're a parent or work, like you're allowed to take a couple minutes off whatever is going on and just shut off and remind yourself that, Okay, what's going on? It's crazy right now, but you can do it. Like you can handle it. As soon as you get home and you shower and you get in bed, tell yourself like, you know what? Today I had a stressful day, but I fucking handled it like a bitch. Like I handled it like a bad bitch. Like you gotta honor yourself. And I feel like not many people do that nowadays. I feel like with the world of social media, it's really easy for it to bring you down. And I think it's important to have time off social media. And it's so scary to say that because I'm, and Instagram and YouTube and myself, it's so scary to shut off from social media because you don't want to miss out on anything. And I also don't want you guys to get the wrong impression that just because I'm not active on social media, that doesn't mean I don't care about you guys. I love you guys so, so much. You have no idea. But I know a lot of you guys know that already. Like I express it so much on my Instagram stories. God, this is such a beautiful eyeshadow. As I was saying, it's okay to be stressed. It's okay to feel feel angry, it's okay to feel upset. Just remember why you're doing what you are doing and just remember that what you're going through is not gonna last forever. Pain is very temporary, even though it feels like it's gonna last a lifetime, it is very temporary. And honor yourself, you know, every night before you go to bed, tell yourself, I handled today like a pro, I'm gonna honor myself, I'm gonna treat myself to something. And I feel like self-love is spoken about, but are people actually practicing it like ask yourself that are you practicing self-love and when you practice self-love and gratitude you're gonna feel less stress in certain situations I mean you're never ever gonna heal from stress I've noticed that for the past couple of years but I do find that when you spend time on taking care of your mental and physical self when you do get into a stressful position it kind of kind of goes past you it is time to put on some mascara so this mascara okay i've tried this out before already and i was like hello lashes i ain't seen you in a while because i have little tiny like baby asian lashes and also they're so short but it's okay like short lashes they need love which is why fenty beauty created this mascara for us little bitty eyelash girls and boys so this mascara is buildable and it volumizes voluminizes oh my god i can't say it so this eyelash this eyelash blah, 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 blah. this mascara is buildable and it volumizes and it lifts and curls and it also lengthens as well which is 
seriously what I need in my life right now. What's so cool about this mascara is that there is a, let me zoom you in. You can guys see that fat side? So this is the fat side, literally. Fat, she thick, 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 thick em. And then when you turn her, oh, she's skinny all of a sudden. Fat side builds volume and lift. And the flat side defines and curls the lashes. And there is a really nice round tip as well, which helps you get into like any particular areas of your eyelashes and make sure that every single eyelash is coated. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use this mascara for my itty bitty tiny Asian lashes. I'm gonna use the flat side to define and curl my lashes so and I'm gonna lift my eyebrows up because I feel like I can like see more of my lashes because they're so small can you guys see my lashes you're gonna see them like when I put the mascara on for sure so the way I'm using this mascara is you see the flat side I'm literally pressing it against my lashes from the root and then swiveling up to the top. And then I just keep doing it until I am happy with the amount of mascara on my lashes. Oh, can you guys see that? I love. And even though Fenty Beauty created the round side, I feel like the mascara itself, like the bristles, it really helps coat every single eyelash. Okay, now I'm gonna use the fat side. I'm gonna add more volume and I'm gonna lift my lashes a little bit more. Oh my god, I love the fat side. The fat side literally thickens my lashes. Can you guys see how thick my little baby Asian lashes are now? Like here she is thin, like non-existent. Who is she? Where is she? She is late, she's not blooming. And then, oh, hi, she's here. Because of the Fenty Beauty mascara. And then I'm gonna use the round side to actually coat my lower lash line. I really hope you guys can see like the before and afters. Guys, I have lashes. Oh my God, a mascara that works. My little baby Asian lashes. Are you kidding me? Look at all of that. You can see everything. Literally, look at this one. You see nothing. <laughs> For real guys, make sure you check this out because I have a very strong feeling that this is gonna sell out because this is bomb. I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Uncuffed Liquid Lipstick. Oh my God, I love this shade so much. It's like my lip color, but more mauve and it matches my top as well. I am so happy with this look and the eyeshadows as well and the mascara and pencils. Like it's about time that Rihanna expanded her eye makeup range because last year I was literally thinking to myself, when are they gonna expand their eye base range? Because there was nothing. There was only like one eyeshadow palette. You know, she was teasing us with the colorful eyeliners and everything, but I was just like, girl I need more shadows I definitely recommend in checking them out I think they are bomb I think they are so good good quality as well like Fenty Beauty always brings in good quality makeup for everyone I thought it'd be fun to answer one more question before I say my goodbyes to you guys and that is do I have a YouTube schedule yes I finally do have a normal YouTube schedule and I was talking to Nathan about this and I was explaining to him how I wanted to upload this day this day and this day like at one point I said to myself let's upload three times a week and the one thing about me is that I always rush myself I always tell myself to do more in such little time and that is something I need to work on because it's not a good habit to have honestly it's not so my schedule time right now is Wednesdays and Sundays and I know in my previous videos I have been so like ugh, I don't know I just been such a scatterbrain sometimes I might upload on a Thursday depending on video and if I want to spend more time and make sure that it's perfect if you stayed to the end thank you so much for watching my whole entire video i love you guys so 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 much make sure to check out my other videos as well it means so much to me and i got so much content planned and i am literally prioritizing it more than my other social media platforms so yeah youtube this year is my goal i love you guys i'll see you soon make sure you subscribe hit that bell button Mwah. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye!